yeah welcome once again to another wonderful episode and today we will be considering uh, the much awaited documentary carrying out and uh, they've done the first series on this documentary it's going to be a four part series they've done the first one we're expecting to see other theory um well somehow Hubert angel's name was mentioned in this old documentary and that is why we want to look into it because of course is a member of the body is a perceived member of the body of christ and is a leader in a church so when we get to see such kind of scandal that involves money laundering and a pastor and a prophet is said to be among them with hidden secret cameras that expose some of their meetings so it's worth something we should talk about before we go into that uh before we go into it first of all i want to call back our mind to a message which apostle arame osai actually preached in pastors produce church of a soothsayer yes i've seen it in my city they are a league of pastors that are into diabolical immorality diabolical it doesn't make sense anymore this is not somebody falling into sin i mean a diabolical dimension of immorality and there, there's a league a strong league and the moment the lady comes out and say, there was something like this, those men will fight the lady and quell her into silence. There is always a cartel built. When Satan wants to make gains in a generation through falsehood, he does it through the power of a cartel. But you know what? The, time, the die is already cast. Before we hit mid-year 2023, you will begin to see the downfall of secret cartels that have been built to extend the shelf life of deception in the body of Christ in this nation. He said, beware of Bela. And that message was titled, Beware of Bilam. Now, that message brought a whole lot of reactions considering what he said and uh, a lot of things were said and one of the things which was striking for me was the fact that he made mention that in this year we we'll begin to see the the pulling down of some certain cartel certain cartel now what do you consider cartel because somebody might want to ask how does this relate to Hubert angel first of all you have to understand that um you have to understand that the person of Apostle Ramosai didn't quite actually mention anybody's name because, of course, there has been his pattern. He always speaks in parable. But then, what do you consider a cartel? We've had series of prophets that we are involved in sexual scandals, not just only involving these sexual scandals. When the victim of these sexual scandals want to speak up, we, we see a lot of um, reports of them fighting them tooth and nail to see that they never tell their stories we've had um some group of prophets also coming up to fight youtubers that are dedicated their time in exposing some of the dirty secrets of this prophet and also recently we've also had um, the case of miracle money of course which Hubert angel has been implicated in that we know how this whole story of uh, miracle money has divided the church we have some parts believing in the existence of miracle money and some other parts believe that miracle money actually is a scam of course we do believe in miracle but what we have been saying over time is that that's all those things you have been seeing them display they are actually scam we do believe in miracle but for everything you have been seeing them display they are actually scam because we've got to see brog exposed um stage testifiers and even the recent um and even the recent credit score which he did why he dedicated a whole full service responding to what was to aroma Sai said concerning miracle money in that same service we saw the person of prophet Hubert angel coming to perform a credit score which also has been proved with facts that it was actually fake and staged so considering all this scandals of sexual scandals um intimidation miracle money scam which we are actually done all these things we are done by prophets that we are believed to be in leagues you know them all so what else do you consider a cartel i mean what else do you consider what else do you consider a cartel other than this example which i've listed i just want you to think for yourself that 
that aside now before we go into full discussion of what of Hubert Angel's part in this old gold mafia scam, laundering money for, you know, laundering money for perceived mafians. I mean, that, that was what um, Al Jazeera used in their documentary, Mafians. Before we go into that, I just want to give us a background of this whole story. So what you just saw in that clip, the, the nation of Zimbabwe, Currently, they are facing international sanctions, and that is because uh, the president and some state um, executives, as the president and some state officials, we are involved in preventing a free flow of democracy. That is to say, they have hindered the people from exercising their right of choosing their leader, thereby preventing free, fair, and credible election. And what that means is that. The current president has been imposing himself upon the nation. Now, because of this sanction, the government has at one time given this as an excuse why the required economic development has not been brought to the people, the nation of Zimbabwe. You know, they are sanctioned, so we cannot do trade, we cannot sell our gold in the international market. So every required economic development has been has been greatly affected and meanwhile this is not the reality on ground because um, government have set up structure from the documentary you can understand that government had set up structures doing business with private individuals and most of these individuals are considered as mafians that is to say people that have questionable business questionable source of income and bringing in laundering in large amount of dollar into the nation okay laundering in large amount of dollar into the nation with the help of government officials and this is where the person of Hubert angel actually came in so this same president that has not been a good representation of what democracy should be is the same president that we have seen Hubert Angel being a close ally I mean he's a diplomat in Zimbabwe so the, he is actually a close ally to the the president of zimbabwe because we you can see in the documentary video where he made mention that we are the government hubert angel called himself he said we are the government i speak on behalf of the government reaching the the president is not an issue i can call him right here right now and put him on speaker and you hear me talk with him so it's not an issue so this is the same president that has not you know that is not particularly consigned with the welfare of the people but angel has went ahead to reassure his partner one stanley one undercover stanley unknown to him that the president will continue to be president until he dies i mean this is supposed to be a prophet that's supposed to speak the mind of god and you are in partnership with a wicked president a wicked government sorry you are in partnership with a wicked government a government that has imposed himself on these people because i want to ask question why are you doing this are you doing this because of the benefits which you are drawing out from the government are you doing this representing god or representing your own selfish desire well that aside now what i mean you're supposed to be seen as an old-time prophet that speaks up against a wicked system a wicked government but but for Hubert angel so long as the money keeps flowing so so long as the billions keep flowing it's just okay somebody might even want to say that they use this money to fund the ministry but i want to ask you can you actually boldly point out and say these are one of the ministerial work which Hubert angel has been doing well now speaking of his involvement in this old documentary and in this old gold mafia um, um gold mafia illegal exports you could see in the documentary whereby as uh, some kind of some undercover agents some undercover agents pose themselves to be mafians that wants to invest in the nation that is they want to buy gold but where they want Hubert angel to come into is to to help them launder money ranging up to the sum of 1.2 billion dollars 1.2 billion dollars to help them clean this money into the nation of zimbabwe so what this means is that the people that wants to launder this money they are posing themselves as people that have questionable source of income because obviously they don't want this money that they are bringing into zimbabwe to be known in the originating country 
because that's what laundering is all about you know you don't pass through the the, the banking system so that governments will not so it will not raise eyebrows as to government asking you where did you get this money from because we've got to see terrorists this is how they they get to move money to aid their practices they pass money diverting the banking system so these are people that came to meet these are the set of people that came to meet with angel though undercover agents but they met them met with angel and with angel knows very well that the money they have are dirty money which needed to be cleaned up and instead of him trying to you know object and all of that what he just said was that come on we have been doing this and we have actually done 200 million although we've not done up to one point something billion but it's not an issue i'm a diplomat uh, i can just pack the money put it in a bag and attach a red tape on it and nobody will touch it until it gets to my house so what does this tell you this is a prophet who even introduce himself as a prophet in that meeting as a as a minister of the even introduce himself as a minister of the gospel in that secret meeting and this is a man comfortable with helping moving illegal cash into the nation because you are a diplomat i mean because you are a diplomat how does that represent the kingdom of god in government i mean it, we, we have heard the likes of Daniel that was in government and even in government I mean Daniel in the Bible that was in government if why he was in government he represented the nation of Zion but in this case we are seeing a man a prophet that is not that is just okay with moving dirty cash cleaning up dirty cash for whosoever that comes up to him and boasting that he has done this, this is not the first time they are doing this they have laundered a whole lot of money they have done up to the tune of 200 million us dollars and even doing 1.2 billion will not be an issue for them and yet when we begin to speak against their miracle money scam some persons on the comment section will still come and say touch not my anointed don't do this and don't do that come on the reason why God is exposing all of this cartel, if you want to call them, is so that people will be saved from bondage of fake lives. So you get to know and see these people for who they are. And whether you like it or not, the body of Christ will keep moving on. There is no amount of attack that can hinder the truth. So you should be at home. Don't come and say we are attacking the body of Christ. We are, we are causing disunity in the body of Christ. No. In the true sense, it will help people to seek after God and not to put their focus upon man, which has been what we have seen in currently in the body of Christ. People are willing to die for their men of God. People are not actually concerned about the lifestyles of their men of God, concerned about the teachings of their men of God. So long as we see any pastor that have come to influence, we are willing to die for them. We are mixing sentiments with Christianity. And this is not supposed to be. And that is why when we begin to talk about this kind of things, when this kind of thing begins to spring up, we are not we are not bothered because the body of Christ will continue to march on and we to move on. Nothing of any sort can hinder this great movement. So this is just uh, my own little contribution to this whole this whole saga. I will be will be in touch again once again when they release their second series and of course when we have the time we will discuss it here on this platform until then peace out